Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled a Phoenix Aurora over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Aurora taken in Iceland, as mentioned in the title. And the the uh, Aurora has the appearance perhaps of a phoenix, as you can see a portion of it there sticking up as the bird's head, and then the great wings stretching out across the sky. Now, the Aurora are caused when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field, and then are funneled into the atmosphere near the magnetic poles of the Earth. And that's why we call them the northern and southern lights, because they are very prominent, very close to the north and south magnetic poles of the Earth. So that's why we see lots of the images taken in places like Scandinavia, as we see in Iceland here, or Canada or Alaska, very far north northern places or very far southern places where the uh, magnetic field comes into the Earth's atmosphere and allows those particles to excite the oxygen atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere which gives that distinct green glow that we see in our image today. Now why does it happen to look like a phoenix? Well that has nothing to do with the aurora itself. That's more uh, the human mind trying to give a uh, shape some kind of pattern to just randomness. When the particles come in they will form random patterns and our mind does not like random patterns so it tries to put some kind of order to them. And in this case if someone sees it as a bird in flight you may uh, start to see the same kind of thing. Similar to how we see patterns in clouds. The clouds, of course, are just random patterns of water droplets condensing in the atmosphere. However, we can make patterns out of them because we like that kind of order. Our minds just don't like the random patterns that are there. So they try to make them into something when there is some sort of pattern there. So here we can see that in the image today. Now we can also annotate this image and locate some of the different things we see in the sky. And if we see here, we will see Orion down towards the horizon. And you can see the three stars in the belt and the uh, objects hanging down, including the from the belt would include the Orion Nebula. Now up above and to the left, we would see the constellation of Gemini. And up over to the upper right, we see the constellation of Andromeda and the circled region would be the Andromeda galaxy, which is actually visible to the naked eye. You don't even need a telescope to be able to see the slight fuzzy patch there. That is the nearest large galaxy to our own about two and a half million light years away. We see a double cluster in Perseus known as H and Chi Persei, two clusters of stars very close together. And we do see a planet in this image off to the right hand side, the planet Uranus there. Also at the very edge of vision, if you have an extremely dark side, it technically could be picked out. It's right at the edge of naked eye visibility, but usually need a pair of binoculars or a small telescope to be able to pick it up. And then in the image and in, in the middle of the image, we see a star cluster as the Pleiades star cluster, very prominent uh, star cluster in the constellation of Taurus, just about at the center of this image. So a number of different objects, constellations and star clusters, a galaxy and a planet all visible in this image, along with an aurora that possibly in the shape of a phoenix. So that was our picture of the day for January the 3rd of 2021. It was titled a Phoenix Aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planets dance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.